All right, we're going to move on with elbows. Your elbow techniques are probably the most economical, and they actually cause the most deep tissue damage when you're involved in a, in a very close quarters combat confrontation like this. And they're very easy to land because of the distance between you and your enemy. Okay, but there, as, as everything before, they're initiated from that from that natural shooting platform that that you can move from. It's more of an athletic stance, and your footwork's actually like a lot like basketball. It's probably the most realistic footwork when it's involved when when you're involved in close quarters combat with somebody else, because you're constantly moving from my shooting platform. Again, I got to get close. I don't want to throw an elbow when I'm far away from my enemy. I don't want to step in and try to throw a long elbow. All he's got to do is move his head just a little bit out of the way and I'm going to miss. That's going to put me back thinking defensively and now he's going to go offensive and he's going to get on me. So the idea is that when, when we do throw elbows, I need to close this distance and get close to him. But more than that, when I close, I've got to, I've got to do something to get a hold of him. Whether I'm holding on to a piece of clothing, his head, his hair, it doesn't matter, or even a piece of tissue on his face or anywhere on his body, it doesn't matter. I just don't want him to go away when I start throwing elbows. I want him to stay put so that I can repeatedly drop my body weight behind the elbows that are probably the, the, the primary gross motor attack that we're going to throw in close quarters. Okay, first elbow we're going to cover is the horizontal elbow. Horizontal elbow is just going to travel in a horizontal plane. I'm not going to clench my fist when I throw this. My hand's just going to be relaxed. From my elbow down to my hand, this doesn't influence the elbow, the trajectory of the elbow, or even the, the power or the impact of the elbow. I'm trying, the closer, the closer the impact area is to the mass of the fulcrum of my body, the heavier and harder it's going to be. So what I'm trying to do for my elbow down is I'm just trying to relax that portion of my body. I'm going to pretend that I have a coin or a rock or something in between my elbow, and I'm just going to close my elbow or my arm and keep that rock or that coin in there just to keep it tight to my body. I don't want to overextend this. I want to keep it nice and tight. And when we're throwing the elbows, it, it, we're, not, we're not really picky on exactly where you're, where you're impacting. It's really not that important. As long as I'm hitting on the bone area closest to the point of my elbow. I don't necessarily even want to hit with my elbow joint. When you're hitting somebody, especially on the hard skull with the tip of your elbow, and there are times with us overseas when we contact people, maybe a foreign military group that does, that's wearing helmets. We don't want to nail them with the tip of our elbow with the joint. We want to just try to hit with the bony surface closest to and just superior to our joint. So from our shooting platform, again, I got to get close. And that's when we're going to initiate with our initial attacks. I'm just going to shoot something out or some hand out just to, <clears throat> just to get it in there so I can get a hold of him. Now, once I get a hold of him, I'm going to just, I'm not going to pull back. I'm not going to uh, telegraph this just from where it just happens to be. I'm going to throw this elbow straight in. I'm going to loop it straight in, keeping it relaxed and throwing my whole body weight behind it when we talk, when we discussed the tactical principle of mass. Throwing as much mass behind it and I'm bringing that elbow in horizontally. Anywhere on his face, his head, the side of his head, his neck, even at, even at times, excuse me, even at times his chest. I just want to get that heavy impact in there to start my attack process and start doing tissue damage. Again, from my shooting platform. I'm going to initiate my attack. <clears throat> I'm just going to get something in there. I'm going to get a hold of his body. I'm going to throw the elbows in, <clears throat> and I'm just going to jam these things in there as hard as I can repeatedly. The mind's going to repeat itself. If it's working, I'm just hitting him, and it's working, I'm just going to let it go, let it happen. If I switch sides on him, whether I'm holding onto his hair or, doesn't, or any kind of handle, I'm just going to keep this elbow just nice and natural, and I'm driving it horizontally, moving my entire body weight into the direction I'm throwing the elbow, and trying to get as much mass behind it into his body to kind of do as much tissue damage as I can and to really disrupt his thought process and his decisionary process so that he can't fight back. So really slow. From a shooting platform, any, any kind of initial attack, even there are times even that I might just be able to reach out and grab him. And I'm going to throw that horizontal elbow with my entire body weight, keeping my body tight. I'm just going to jam it in there as hard as I can. Just boom. <clears throat> and just get it in nice and tight. From the other side, if we switch sides, it's the same thing. I'm just gonna turn my whole body weight and I'm cradling him just so I can get that elbow in there. And if it's working, I just keep it going and just keep nailing him with that elbow. Now the purpose of cradling him and holding on to him is I don't wanna hit him and he goes away. 
we got to start over. We got to start this whole attack process over. He knows the attack's happening now. He's going to go on the offensive and fight back, and we don't want that. We just want to go, regardless of where I'm facing, I may be looking at one enemy here. I turn, I switch, I look at it, and we initiate. And I'm just coming in, I'm hitting him as hard as I can with as much body mass as I can. That's the horizontal elbow.